Hey everybody, welcome on down to Three Dogs Witch TV Stream. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, let's see, who's here? Chin Lane, Nico, Arenzis, uh, Yopo, Kendo, Cougars, Vlad, Don't Stop Namming, Strange Name, Visage, Mad Humans, Tight Jutsu, uh, Air System Command. Who else? Roxel, what's up? Good to see you. Tony Jesus, Angel, Listopath, of course. S2 System, Major Dutch, Shocky, God, 10 of 10. Kaharas. Uh, low life? Did I say low life? All the other names. Alki. Anyone else that I missed? <laughs> who is that? I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. Archmage, what's up? This, these Jamiroquai tunes, man. They get you in the mood. I'm gonna have to play that every every stream, man. It really gets you in the mood. How can you not be in a good mood when that shit is playing in the background? <clears throat> Let's see. I was actually in the mood for playing um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze again the other day, but I decided not to. What a feel-good game that is. The music in that game and just the, the vibrancy of the whole thing <clears throat> makes you want to be a kid again. Andrew, thank you for the 17 months. This music is Persona music, yeah. It's called uh, Life Goes On. Time for a dramatic tonal shift. Let's see. Get this out of here. Get my Streamlabs up. Okay, okay, okay. We might finish this game tonight. I feel like we're getting close to the end. I feel like we must be getting close to the end. But we'll see. Um, and if we, be if we beat the game after like two or two hours or something, we might switch over. And um, have another crack at Leon B, no saves, hardcore. And then tomorrow we'll probably start something different, something new. Oh, well, maybe not something new, because I think I want to go back and play the OG RE2 after, the, after having played the remake. Um, and maybe play the Dreamcast version if I can get my hands on it. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, so we have to catch up um, to where we were yesterday. I'm not sure where we are now or what we have to do. But I didn't save at the end of yesterday's stream. Alright, give me a sec here. Hey, what's up, Pegasus? What's up, everyone? Sorry if I missed any greetings. Okay, 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 okay. Try RE 1.5. Is RE 1.5 even a thing you can play? Okay. 
don't think you can get it still. Could you ever play RE 1.5? Wasn't that just like the, the prototype RE 2 that didn't get made? It's pretty buggy, but it's playable. Oh, really? How do you play it? Did we enter the key chip? Hey, here's the other key chip, okay. I love this safe room theme, man. Give me that nut with the year. Thank you. <laughs> did I hear, did I catch DRK's impression? No, no. I hope it wasn't a copy of Knight's impression. It probably was. I'll be impressed if it was something different. <laughs> uh, oh, you can take the key chips as well, huh? I can't look at it now anyway. I'll look at it after the, after the stream. Oh yeah, we need to find that code. <laughs> the analyzing paintings or something? Freeman his pants over background designs. Hey, we got a plug. I was actually watching some of his uh, God of War playthrough, it was pretty good. <laughs> oh, is he uh, impersonating my screams, my oohs and my ahs? I'll have to check it out later. <laughs> the lock has already been released. Oh, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, man. I don't have my bearings at all in this place. Oh, here we go. Knight's impression can actually be pretty good of my accent. He gets pretty uh, close when he tries. New playthrough? No, 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 no. This is like our fourth session with this game. What kind of accent is it? My accent? An Irish accent? Let's see. Will I also play Dino Crisis 2? I will eventually, yeah. I'm not sure if I'll play it right after this, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Well, no, I, I know I won't play it after this, but we might play it soon enough. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, right, so I still need the other, um, the other thingamajig. The other DDK. Doors being unlocked. I think I know where that leads. Platonic, thank you for the seven months. Um, I think I know where to find this DDK, actually. I think I remember, but I'm not sure if we have to go through here. Mm, 
let's mix some shit up here to free up some space. Mm, combine them with the large as well, perhaps? Oh, I can't, okay. Maybe... I don't really want to multiply them. I feel like you're probably better off creating the large ones first and then multiplying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. There's a ventilation duct over there that I want to get to. Gail! Yeah. Well, at least Kirk's running out of places to hide. Yeah, so we have the first D. We need to find the second one. Okay, not sure if we find anything else here. We read this yesterday, so we'll just leave it there. Uh, nothing? I was going to check out uh, Dead Space 3, but um, I was watching some of it on YouTube, just like clips from the game, and it really turned me off, just the few minutes that I saw the big action set pieces and the cover shooting, I was like, oh god, no, lord no. It has some cool ideas. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll check it out at some point. I was pretty turned off by what I saw, though. I get like, I, and I don't really mind it being an action game. I guess just cover shooting. I don't know. There's something about I get immediately put off by a lot of cover shooting games because there was just so much of it last gen. Uh, anything else here? Yeah, all we get is that scene and this little bit of lore, and then I think that unlocks another scene. Oh wait, of course, there's this there's this thing as well that we'll have to interact with later on. Level A is required. Right, 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 right. Ha! Go, oh, my God! Fuck's sake, two of them right outside the door. Back up here. I do want to play Gears of War again. I played um, the first one way back when it first came out, but I played it at a friend's place. I think I might have played the whole thing. I can't remember though. Resident Evil 5 is in that bracket as well, like I have this memory of playing both of those games with him and I think at one point I might have even borrowed his Xbox and beat both of them by myself, but I can't quite remember if I did. Like I know, I, I remember playing the end of Resident Evil 5, I remember seeing a lot of Resident Evil 5, but I can't remember if I played the whole thing. Gears of War 1 is in that same category. But I remember enjoying Gears of War 1. It's what killed a lot of other cover shooters for me. At the time. I remember playing GTA 4 for the first time. Felt like, felt so clunky and shit compared to, um... Uh, even other cover shooters which I didn't think were that great, like Uncharted 1. I thought Uncharted 1 was very average. But, um... I guess the cover shooting was pretty smooth in that game, how it felt. But uh, yeah, compared to Gears, 
They were quite uh, boring. Omega Chaos, thank you for the 13 months. Heroes of War is one, is one of your favorite games, really, Blad. Interesting. And Omega, thank you for the 13 months. Do I really want to be here? Take a look over here. Oh, we're back here! Oh! Interesting. Well, I guess I'll save. We made a little bit of progress. We didn't lose any items or anything. Right, 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 right. Whoa! Yeah, this is where I want to be. Regina, I fixed it. You can open the shutters now. Okay, now we want to go back. This part is kind of weird. You feel like you should go through that barrier that's right in front of you. Because he just turned off the lasers there, but you but he also turned off the lasers back where we came from, and that's where we actually need to go. Um D Cups, thank you for gifting us up to Pegase. Much appreciated. Enjoy your free sub, Pegase. D Cups at it again with the big 157. Hey, what's up, Alec? Yeah, Regina's extra thick as well in this because our uh, our images stretched. Go! Wow. Okay. Back up here. That was so lucky. Anything left in the RE2 remake to unlock? Um, like, oh, I'm sure there's loads of concept art and things to unlock. And I still need to finish Leon B. But... Um, what I really want to do from now on with that game are just challenge runs. Like uh, a few days ago I tried to do a no save uh, hardcore playthrough. I don't really have too much interest in S plus runs because I just, I don't really, I don't know. I feel no desire to plan out routes for speed runs, which is basically what you do if you want to S plus. Um, I don't really have any interest in speed running the game. Um, but I would like to attempt some no damage runs. Or not no damage runs, no save runs. And I think we, we might do that if we beat this game tonight. We might switch over to uh, RE2 and have another attempt at that. We got pretty far last time. But yeah, I, I like just going in completely unprepared and attempting... A no save. Mm, yes, climb down. Was that on this channel? This that was on this channel. Yep. <laughs> That's why you're one of my favorite streamers. The unpreparedness. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Let's see. Wait, what was this? Resuscitation. Oh, hey, can I mix these? Yes, I can. Nice. Cool. Moobot's getting very excited. And there's our DDKD. Sweet. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Raguti. Let's just take it easy here. Walk carefully around. There's another butt plug. There has been a sequel to Dino Crisis, Lee. There's been two. Dino Crisis 2 is pretty well received from what I've seen. It is a bit polarizing though because it's quite different to this game. It's more of an action game than a, than a survival horror game. It has the, uh, the RE4 factor, I guess, to some degree. Um, and RE3, I mean not RE3, Dino Crisis 3 doesn't get too much love at all from what I've seen. Ah, uh, we don't have the A for this, right. Oh, and we need a number for this. I took down the number. Actually, come to think of it. Oh wait, I can't interact with this at all. Oh wait, no, the number is for that other pad. And now I forget where that pad is. Hmm. Oh, hello. Wow. Yeah, let's let's just go back to the DDK. Hey, Infinite Respawn, thank you! Got all the kind comments today. You gonna charge into the lasers? Oh god. Go! Whoa! Ah! Go, go straight over here! Fuck! I wanted to get up into the ventilation shaft, but... Oh, they were blocking it. They were standing right underneath it. And now there's a dinosaur in here as well. Met him. Go! What was he even chewing on? Human, I guess. Okay, so back this way. Sort of have my bearings here. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be cool to see them bring this series back. Who knows? Might happen. Capcom getting back into survival horror with the RE series. They might, uh... They might bring something else back, or maybe even start a new IP. Hmm. I think this is where we want to go, actually. Save again. We're doing pretty well here, not taking any damage. With a bit of luck. Oh, did they make a, uh, a Gears of War film? No way. Did that just pass me by? People in chat talking about some guy playing Marcus? They haven't? Ah, okay. Alright, so we know the answer now. Man, this one was pretty, uh... wild. I didn't feel bad about getting this one wrong. You know, the last one I felt, you know, I really... I started to overthink it when I really shouldn't have. But this one is pretty easy to overthink, I think. Let's see, Dr. Kirk. The username, yeah, Cougars. I, I thought of that 
earlier on today. I was like, oh shit, the username was actually the, the password. Thankfully, I didn't realize at the time. Oh, okay, here we go, 0392. Oh. Right, so I know what we're doing now. Yeah, we're going back to that other pad. 0392, cool. All the progress. Magnetic pattern data for 0392 is being displayed. Please overwrite the magnetic pattern of the key chips correctly. Oh lord, another puzzle, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Get comfortable. Trying to see what I'm supposed to do here. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I can move between both of these. I didn't even realize. Oh, wait, what the hell? James, thank you for the two months. Cheers. Right, so I guess I need... four of these at the top on this side, and then four, four of these reds at the bottom over here. Hey, what's up, Shin? Again, I'm trying to remember what we had to do the last time we encountered one of these puzzles. And we can reset as well, okay. I'm not sure what the, what the difference is between these. I select this and it brings me over here. I select this and it brings me over here as well. Barbie, thank you for the three months. Whatever happened to Minehot? Oh man, that takes me back. That was uh, that was Fatal Frame Two, wasn't it? That was a fun stream. Sounds familiar, but you can't remember? Mine hot? I can't really remember what happened either. Just some backseater and it just got a bit ridiculous. You know, the, the arrow below this one is pointing to the left, so I assume that I need to recreate what we're seeing there. But they're all, like, empty spaces. None of them are filled, and we have some of them that are filled here. Glowing white. I see how we can recreate this over here, though. Oh! Oh, I see! I see! Right, hold on. Oh, wait, no, maybe I don't see. Can we move these over here? Ah! Okay. All right, all right. Hmm. 
they don't make it too clear with the controls here, you see. But uh, I see now, I see now. I thought I could only move these separately. Then I realized that I was bringing these over here. <laughs> Oh, Rage 2! Did that game come out? Did that game release? Okay, right, so now we're onto something. Interesting, so all of, the, all of them on this side have to be empty. Jesus Christ, we might be here for a while. <laughs> uh, all the reds need to be on that side. Can we at least, let's get all of these set up on the left side first. Do I have to move these over? Can we not just... Oh! I see! Right, now I see what these two are for. Right, 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 right. Now it all makes sense. Okay, now we're ready to tackle it properly. Let's reset. Let's reset. D cups, thank you for gifting a sub to Tidsu. Cheers. Enjoy your free sub, Tidsu. Hey, what's up, bananas? Okay. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay. Right, so now we can take these two out. Interesting. This is a cool puzzle. Right. So now we don't need to worry about swapping one clear one over to the other side. We can just grab these two and bring them straight over. I was thinking about playing Resident Evil Zero again. I think I might. And play it on hard mode this time. I've heard horror stories about that game on hard mode. But, um... I feel like I should be okay, because I've experienced the game once already on normal. I like that we can listen to this theme while doing this puzzle. That makes it a lot nicer. RE0 on hard should be a really fun time. Yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued just to play that game again. There were certain things I didn't like about it, like th those areas with the monkeys, man. Fuck those monkeys. Um, and the, the leech enemies could just be annoying as well at times. They, they were kind of cool with how they worked, but they could be a real pain in the ass as well. Ah, okay, so I can take those two. Right. So let's see, can we swap? Let's go back here. See if we can swap this for this. We can. Beautiful. Right. Now we need to get those these other two clear ones over to the left. Oh yeah, Resident Snake. Yeah, I remember, um, I really liked RE0. Like, overall. I had a few issues with it, but I thought it was really well done, overall. I thought it handled the two characters thing exceptionally well. Um, like, I liked all the options you had for both characters and just the differences between Rebecca and Billy. It was fun figuring out how to utilize them both to their... Um, you know, to their best potential. And it had some clever puzzles as well, some cool twists on classic puzzles. That tried to incorporate, you know, the two characters in interesting ways. I thought it was a really, really cool game. Is RE0 or Code Veronica? 
tougher. I'd say Resident Evil Zero is a harder game than Code Veronica. I didn't think Code Veronica was that difficult. The Stretch Armstrong guys were a pain in the ass. And they could be pretty cheap. But aside from those two guys, those two guys, <laughs> there were only two of them? No, there were a lot more than two. But aside from the, the Stretch Armstrongs, I don't think Code Veronica was that bad. There was also that area with Chris where the, the moths would keep respawning, those poisonous moths. That was a pain in the ass. Didn't make it... Not, it didn't make it much more difficult, but it was just a shitty section. <clears throat> Item management could be a bit tedious in uh, Resident Evil Zero, for sure. But only really towards the end of the game. And I, I still think it was pretty cool how the game handled item management, even if it was tedious at times, being able to drop anything anywhere. I'd say it's a fun game to master, you know, figuring out how to play it optimally, I'd imagine is pretty fun. Uh, anyway, let me get back to what I'm doing here. Oh, how can I do this? Oh. Oh, oh, I think I see. Yeah, we've already done it. Okay, we have these two up here. And now we just need to swap them out for these two over here. that up here. What does that do? Oh, that brings that up there, right. Hey! There we go. Okay. Now, we just need to swap those over and then we're halfway there. I think that's correct. That's correct. Nice. Okay. We're halfway there. Hey, we're more than halfway there. I think we're there. No! No! Oh, shit, I meant to switch back. Fuck. We were there, but I didn't I didn't I didn't mean to be in swap mode. If I wasn't in swap mode, that would have been it. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We can get out of this. We can get out of this. We just need to switch these back over. There we go. And that's it. That's it. Okay, right. No need to panic. Elage, thank you for the two months. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. You've taken out the overwritten key chips from the slot. It wasn't a big deal at all. It wasn't a big deal at all. But just because I made a... a move that I didn't intend... I was sure I fucked it up big time. What did I even take there? The, uh, the A key, I guess. Or was that just key card level C? This is a cool area, though. I like this part of the game. Wait, 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 wait. Can we go back here now? Initiating card data rewriting sequence. Gate system. Registration number. Fuck. <sighs> Chat. 
Uh, you can tell me. What did I get from that machine? Was it just a, was it just an ID card? What did what item did I get after solving that puzzle? I think it was the ID card. But maybe it wasn't. We already had key card C. Oh, and I have the two chips back as well. Can anyone remember? funny looking Resident Evil game. It's another Capcom classic from the PS1 era if you're not aware of it. Created by the same guy that made Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami. This was his next game after Resident Evil 1. What did I get? Admin sim? Admin sim? <laughs> no one can remember. <laughs> uh, right. Interesting that we have the, the two chips. Can we put the chips back in? Nah. Fuck. I wish I knew what item I got. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's save anyway. Yeah, I remember getting stuck really, really early on playing this game as a kid. Let's just see if we can go through here now. We didn't get the A key. Maybe I can use that same code, 0392. I doubt it though. Interesting. It was an optional puzzle? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Okay. Oh wait, what? Nah. Shit, I hope I didn't find the, the number. I just forgot about it. Don't think I did. No, it's not wild. I'm playing on an emulator. Wasn't this on Dreamcast? I'm not sure, but it might have been. Resident Evil 2 is on Dreamcast. Okay. I guess we'll just go back and double check areas again. I wish I knew what I picked up. Is it an ID card? Certifies the access type of researcher. It's definitely not that. <laughs> if Konami creates Battle Royale, MGS will out of heaven play it? I have no idea, maybe. I'm sure we will. Like, I'm sure DRK will play it anyway. He loves playing those shitty games. Fucking... Twin Snakes, Battle Royale, Marathons. 
Twin Snakes, MGS Survive, MGS Battle Royale Marathons. DRK will do it. He'll, uh, he'll put himself through anything. <laughs> Interesting. Now, I know we need card A for this room over here. So it's pointless even going in there. Stabilizer design room. We still have shit to do in here, I know. But I'm not sure if we can do anything yet. Yeah, and they follow me in. Oh! Camera angle! <laughs> Music! Music! Jesus Christ! Relax! Those drums! Planning disc. I don't think we have the planning disc, do we? Yeah, they wake up after a few seconds, Dark. <laughs> oh, I should have turned on the lasers. Yeah, they let you know when they uh, smash through a door, that's for sure. Now, I don't think I ever checked over there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what is that machine? We need, um, card A for that. Ah! Oh. Fuck, what was the, what was the code? Zero three nine two. Well, zero three two nine. It, it, it's probably a different code. Okay. I feel like I should have found at least one of these other codes by now. I played Dino Crisis before. When I was a kid, I played it. Yeah, but I didn't get too far. What's worse, a backseater that is right or a backseater that is wrong? A backseater that's right. Backseater that's wrong is still bad, but at least you didn't get spoiled. Oh, hello. Right, I think we're gonna have to go back to the Previous area. Shit, man.
Interesting. Yeah, back down this way. We haven't been back to this area in a long time. So hopefully there's something else we can do here now. Fuck you. Oh, Regina! What the hell are you doing? How did that miss? Come on, I was looking straight at him. These darts are precious crazy because they only trank them for a few seconds but still worth it although I guess I've saved up a lot of firepower now although I've left a lot of my ammo in ammo boxes so I don't know If we approach the elevator over there, another dinosaur is going to come through the door. I don't think we can access the elevator, so I don't think it's worth it. Although, maybe we can now. I don't think so, though. I wish I knew what I picked up from that last puzzle. Although he's dead, he's still holding onto a transmitter in his hand. Oh, I can't do anything with it though, okay. Stop that. Okay. This isn't looking good. Our only chance may be to use the third energy. Has the story already disclosed that? I don't think so. I don't really care too much, so you can spoil away. Hey, what's up, Proceeder? We're still blocked from going through here. I'm assuming. Yep. Damn, man. Okay. Back we go. Interesting. I have no idea what to do now. Hopefully we just find something by going back. I, I feel like I should have one of those codes. But I've been jotting down all the numbers. So I don't think I've read it. Unless I just didn't notice. Hey, what's up, JMP? The dinosaurs are created by some rogue computer in outer space. Jesus. That's pretty wild. Whoa! Go back! Right, I guess I will save here. Wait, what? I thought I had the option to save. Oh, wait, no, that's back in the save room. Right, 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 right. Let's go back. Oh, that's Dino Crisis 3 lore. Okay. I didn't want to go back to the central stairway, actually, I don't think. Did I? Back this way. Okay. Oh, you didn't do that last time. 
Okay. I think I saved there. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. The elevator is active, but I can't act I can't use it with the data on my card. Shit. Right. That was red last That was red last time we checked, I think. Oh, I thought we had found progress. At long last. Go! Ugh. Nah, 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 nah. We, we don't have to go all the way back here. No way. The Rex is still chilling here. What do we have through here? Yeah, we did all this stuff. This is the... Uh, no, I really don't think we have to come back here. Probably worth reloading? Yeah, I'm gonna reload. If there's nothing to do here. I'll just let one of them kill me. Nothing else here. Shit, man. I'm just thinking of that one other memo. In that bedroom area. Maybe I'll take another look at that. Because I think they do talk about some code in that memo, but I don't think... You know, it doesn't give you the code, but I think the... I think they're talking about it. Go back here. Interesting. We never did anything with that computer. What's my traveling experience like? I've been to quite a few countries in uh, Europe and uh, I've been to the US. In Europe I've been to uh, Italy, Sicily a couple of times, uh, France a couple of times, Germany, um, Spain. Uh, I've been to Croatia as well. Where else? Cyprus. Yeah, I've been to a, I've been to a good few places. I've never been to Portugal. I've never been to Finland. No. <clears throat> never been to Russia. I would like to do a bit more traveling. take another look out here. We're going way too far back. Holland, yeah, I've been to Holland. Forgot to mention that. 
Have I been anywhere else? Greece as well? Have I been to Greece? Way back? When I was a kid? I think I might have been. I think I've been in Greece. <laughs> Hobble along here. Transport passageway. Prague. I hear Prague is a nice place, yeah. I think my dad has been to the Czech Republic before. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is this? Oh, is this new? Oh, dear lord. I think this might be new. What is this place? Grenade bullets. Oh. This, I think this is probably optional stuff. Another plug. Another plug. This is pretty cool. Ah! <laughs> Get fucked. I was in Paris when I was a kid. I had a great time there. I remember I was in, uh, Jesus Christ, that guy's making a lot of noise. I was in a restaurant with my dad, and, uh, it turned out that the chef was some kind of magician, and the chef came out and performed all these magic tricks, and I was amazed. Like, I was, like, fucking seven or eight years old, and one of his tricks, I'll never forget it, was... He took out this gigantic uh, butcher's knife and he asked if he could chop my arm off. And I was like, no, you can't chop my arm off. He said, no, don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> and I, It must have been like a fake knife or something because like it did, I forget exactly what the trick was because it, it wasn't that like nothing happened. Something happened. I think he fooled me into thinking that my, my arm was sawn off or something. I can't remember exactly what the trick was. I just remember this. Maybe I was so, maybe I was so traumatized. That's why I can't remember. But um, it involved taking out this big butcher's knife and asking if he could chop my arm off. I can't remember what the, what the result of the trick actually was. I'll have to ask my dad again. You're just reminding me now. <clears throat> <laughs> But yeah, good times in that restaurant. We were there around Christmas. I remember it was really uh, quiet. I think we were, we were the only two in the restaurant, but it was, it was supposed to be a pretty good restaurant. It was pretty nice from what I remember. I can't remember what I had. But yeah, pretty crazy, the fucking chef coming out, performing magic tricks. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, something got caught in my throat there. I'm all right. Let's see. Um. Fuck. That is that all we get? And I'm dead, right? 
Snake, thank you for the 17 months. Cheers. What was my order? I can't remember what I had. Oh, resuscitation. I'm right. I don't know if I want to use that resuscitation. Ah! We, we do- Oh man, we have to come back here again once we have card A. Hey, what's up, Jankal? Oh, this is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, two of them blocking my way. <laughs> Knight and dog's arm would be the best thing. We're in the middle of a Metal Gear marathon, I'm playing the Phantom Pain and suddenly my skills go to shit. I'm getting D ranks out of nowhere. Chad is like, what? Did Knight take over again? Knight, are you there? Did the arm take over? Ah! Fuck! Oh, we're back here. Oh, and these things reset. All right. Man, I have no idea. I mean, I guess I should reload like that. It, we'll, we have to come back here later on anyway. Let's just keep going, see if we can find out what to do. And then after we find out what to do, we'll reload. I, ho I really hope I'm not missing anything here. I don't think I am. Whoop! Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, I can't wait for Sekiro next month. Really intrigued. I'm sure, I'll check out DMC5 as well. What about the Division 2? I don't know anything about the Division. Never played the first one. Jesus. Oh! Ho, ho. I wonder if there's anything I can do over there. Aside from open that door. I saw a little bit, Nico, but like almost nothing. And I've been avoiding all other news related to the game. I know a lot has been released. Um, you know, a lot of information regarding mechanics and gameplay and things like that. But I really, I don't know much at all. Where will this continue me from? Back here. Ah, 
Ah, just two of these things. Ah! Hmm, okay. Right, well, I'll go back to that one bedroom area. And if I don't find the solution there, I think I'll ask chat. If anyone even knows. A Ricktick. I'm not sure if I thanked you for your eight months. Thank you. Snake for the 17 as well. I'm, I think I thanked you. Okay, we can go through here first. Ah, uh, it has to be around here. I'm missing something simple. The code just has to be lying around. It has to be a memo around here somewhere that I just didn't see, that I just didn't notice. Mm Okay. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna read this journal real quick. Then you can jump on top of me. <laughs> uh they're not giving me any code here. This is just lore. I th I'm pretty sure we're not seeing anything here. Am I missing something else in this area, I wonder? Uh. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, the kick there. Okay, hold on. Well, I give Metro a go. Maybe I, maybe I will. Did that game just release, like, recently? I haven't played any games in that series before. Oh, let me search in peace. Um, fuck it. Chat, if anyone knows where I'm supposed to find this code, you can tell me. I'm sure it has to be in one of these rooms, and I just didn't see it. I didn't explore thoroughly enough in one of these rooms. I'm guessing. If anyone knows, feel free. Heinous. The code in the room? No, I need a code for... Hold on.
How do I get back to where I was? Oh, we have to go back through here. What are they doing over there? What, why are they trying to even get through there? Good for me, though. Did I figure out the GF puzzle yesterday? No, I didn't. I'm not surprised that I didn't either. It was, uh, it was pretty tricky, you know, they, they put a twist on it. I asked chat eventually. Right. Right, so, I need a code for this. Oh my god, please tell me I just... Did I read this? Okay, I did. There's no code. Wait, hold on. Since we're going to move the, ex uh, the experimental generator outside today, we expect to see external staff within the test area. As a final reminder, if the overload occurs in this laboratory, it will mean the obliteration of the entire facility. If you don't want to be evaporated, guard the area with extreme caution today. The staff has been working double overtime recently. Dr. Kirk, in particular, has locked himself in his private quarters for nearly a week. Nobody has seen him. Take good care of the researchers, and remember that the experiment's success depends upon their ability to think. Recently, the credibility gap of Dr. Kirk has been varied among the staff. Keep your eyes on the ID rewriting device here to prevent illicit use. There has been an instance of someone abusing the rewriting device on the first floor. Keep your eyes open. Very Dave. Very Dave. What the hell, man? How am I? How am I going to get used to that? I, I need to write you a new theme song. I hope you're not expecting your new your new theme song today, because it's going to take a while. His name is Very Dave. <laughs> Uh, Alright, that's going to be the first line. Just off the top of my head. I'm a musical genius. Um, what's the second line going to be? His name is Very Dave. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> uh, something about forgetting to shave? I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll need a bit of time, I think. If you're looking for the code to rewrite the ID card, you don't even have access to fingerprints yet. What? I have the fingerprint rewriting device. I got it at the start of the game. But... I, I guess I don't have... I guess I don't have access to the code right now, anyway. But I need new fingerprints. That's That was my first thought when I arrived at this thing. But the thing is... Like, I, I'm not asked for, um... You know, I'm asked for a registration number first. So I guess I need to find that first before we need to even worry about the fingerprints, right? I think that's what happened with the last one anyway. We needed we needed the code and then we needed the the fingerprints. His name is Very Dave. I'm lost. After that first line, I'm lost. What was the last thing? What was the last thing that I did? Um, we solved this puzzle over here. I'm not even. I can't even remember what we got from this puzzle. I can't remember what we got from from the puzzle. One of these items here, I think. I wish I could remember that much. Does if anyone knows, you can tell me.
but it's not like playing Re a classic Resident Evil game where you'll have loads of people who know what to do. Oh, the puzzle you did rewrote the two key cards so you can use them. Ah, okay. The two key cards. The two chips. Sorry, Rocco, it's hard to keep track of everything in the chat. Oh! Okay. Okay. Interesting. I have no idea where to use these. Like, I still need a level A card for these, so I, I don't suppose I can use them here. Let's take a look through here. Oh! Oh, fuck's sake. I wasn't paying attention to this thing at all, right? I, all I saw was the 0392. I was thinking, this thing is just giving me a code, it's not useful for anything else. Yeah. I forgot that it was useful for yeah. something other than just giving me the code. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're making progress. There we go. Cool. Did we reload? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what does this say? A slot to insert a key chip. Nothing is written on the number specification area. Wait, what was the second line in the original theme? His name is TGA Dave. He's been running for days and he forgot to save. His name is TGA Dave, and his back is up against the wall. Okay, so. He's been running for days, and he forgot to save. <laughs> how can we, how can we change that with Very Dave? His name is Very Dave. He's been running for days, and he forgot to save. We can do the same thing easily. There's no need to change the song at all. I was thinking the whole, I was thinking the TGA Dave thing would change it. Just because of the rhythm, you know, it would, it would, it would really change the rhythm fundamentally, but it doesn't. We just, we just have to fucking slow it down a little bit. His name is Very Dave. It gets, it has that sort of swing to it now, you know. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. His name is Very Dave. He's been running for days and he forgot to save. His name is Very Dave and his back is up against the wall. That is great, man. That's way better. I love the new name, Dave. That's so much better. That's way classier. You know? I feel like I should be drinking an expensive whiskey while singing that song. <laughs> What a song, what a tune. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -do. He's been running for days and he forgot to save. Rick, I've located the main generator of the third energy. Great. See if you can activate it. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing? <clears throat> this area is cool, though. I like how it looks, this big facility. Dean, thank you for the nine months. Here's. Will you press the button? That's a very simple question. What are the consequences, I wonder? Will you press the button? 
Uh, let's take a look around first. Backseat mode is off now, of course. Why would it be on? We just reached a new area. Let's go back first. Silent Hill 2, will you jump down the hole? Of course. Door is locked from the other side. Oh, what do we have here? Will you press the button? Will you press the button? Oh, uh, I mean, why not? Oh! No big deal. Third energy area, B3. <laughs> I'm still hyped about that new TGA Dave song, or that new Very Dave song. I don't know, the Very Dave? Does it have, it, it doesn't have as much of a ring to it, you know? What's up, Very Dave? Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. I mean, three random letters before Dave shouldn't have much of a ring to it either. Very Dave? Very Dave what? What's Very Dave? The song is definitely better though. Was it really just all for the emote code? So you can just model your channel after extreme emotions? You know, everything's enhanced by the word very. <sighs> You'll have to start using hyperbole way more often now. We'll need to see an enhanced version of TGA Dave. Everything's put to the extreme. <laughs> uh, I'll push this button, I guess. Nothing happened. Much dog? Certain preparations have to be made before pushing the switch. Okay. Another plug. Panel that activates the third energy generator. Yes! Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Mm, okay, back up. VD? What? Am I high? Me? On drugs? No, 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 not at all. What? Did you hear that? Emulator issues, I would say. It sounded like my friend. 
I feel like we should check over here first before we do anything else. I'm not sure if I'll play Dino Crisis 2 right after this. I don't think so. I think I'll return to the OG RE2 first. Because I want to play it after playing the remake. Just to get a feel for all the differences and things like that. Because I haven't played the original in a long time. I didn't want to play it before the remake. Take a look up here. Ideally, I would like to play the Dreamcast version. Because I hear it has a, a hard mode and some extra thingies. Some extra thingamajigs. I haven't seen Tofu or Hunk in the original RE2. Do they have like their own unique mode or can you just play as them in the main story? They have their own mode. It was originally in as a mode to test hitboxes. Interesting. That's why they that's why they uh, created it. A file title generator instruction manual. How to activate and control the generator. Prepare to activate the generator by operating the main panel on the upper floor of the control room. Move to the B3 area of the generator to set an initializer. Operate the panel near the initializer to connect uh, the inhale shaft to the generator. Move to the B2 area to set a stabilizer. Activate the generator. I feel like I should take down all these notes, but we'll probably get it through trial and error anyway. Ahito uh, Shora 25, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Cheers. OG Tofu is very tanky compared to RE2 Remake Tofu. Like, OG RE2 in general is very tanky compared to Remake. But I guess even considering that, you're probably saying it's still tankier, you know? Puzzle? Whoa. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Announcement. Power for generator is disconnected. I still have to beat Tofu in the remake. I finished Hunk, which is a lot of fun. I really like the, uh, the Hunk mode. Hey, what's up, Connor? Oh, and yes, I am well. I hope you're well as well. Man, there are a lot of uh, computers to interact with here. This is pretty cool. Although I can't interact with those ones. Can we go over here? Oh, hey. She's unconscious. She's dying. Remake Tofu looks like a walking fridge, maybe at a glance. I can see that. But once you get a, a good look at his texture, it doesn't look too much like a fridge. And once you see the bites being taken out of him, what is this? Kirk has been hiding everything from the researchers recently. In a demonstration of solidarity, the B-1 lab area staff have decided to investigate what Kirk and the military personnel are up to. As a start, we managed to set a wiretapping device at the parts storage area where they've been holding meetings. The device is, uh, uh, the device is sound activated and records automatically. It can also play back the recordings. It may be, the best, uh, may be the best way to come up with some clues. We need Kirk's ID card to check the generator. We already know his registration number, 
It's 31415. Nice. All we need now um, to forge his ID card is his fingerprint data. Ah. So we need his data. We need his fingerprints. Interesting. Let me just take this down. Where is Kirk? I have no idea. We'll find him. Take the map. They scanned actual tofu for the remake. Okay. Those camera angles. That's locked. Okay, let's go back. Or did we even check down here? Plants? You don't like the plants, Snake? I think they're a really cool enemy. Oh, hey! Level B! I don't remember ever seeing any level B doors though, just level A. Maybe we'll find some around here. Researcher's Journal. Sam Guy, thank you for the 17 months. Much appreciated, Sam Guy. Cheers. Uh, since I was assigned to this department, all I've done is sample the simulation data of the generator. Even a college student could handle these tasks. Why doesn't Kirk want us to operate the generator? Doesn't he trust our ability and skill? Written by O. To O. I don't think the problem is so simple. Because his ID card is required to operate the generator, once an accident occurs, Kirk is the only person who can stop it. I don't see what the military is planning to do with this uh, conniving, nonsensical procedure. Written by N. I have an idea. It's about that guy, Tom, who was recently assigned to the B1 area. He often comes to me to ask about our job. I guess he can't resist my charming personality. Why don't we invite him into our group and have him spy on Dr. Kirk? This should work, as he is good at gaining the, uh, the confidence of other people. Written by B. To B. Don't be so simple-minded. Have you already forgotten how you'd, uh, how you'd been trying to get Kirk's attention until, until recently? Learn to think a bit more logically first. At any rate, the male researchers here don't seem to know much of anything beyond research. Maybe you ought to try showing the next, uh, the next one you become close friends with the wonders of shampoo and the washing machine. All right. Yeah, it's only those G-spawn enemies that can poison you, right? In the RE2 remake. They're the only things that poisoned me, anyway. Mm. Anything else here? This really reminds me of RE1, this little 
panel here. In the lab at the end of the game. The main console that controls the generator. It cannot be operated because it is in a, because it is in a state of system lock, right. Hey, what's up, Clement? Oh, I can push that. I was thinking. Looked a little bit out of place. Intensifier. Cool. Okay, okay, right. I think we. I don't think there's anything else here. Just to activate the generator down here. Let's go back up. Music here actually kind of reminds me of uh, Silent Hill 1. Oh, I'm sorry, Clems. Hello. How are you? You doing okay? Is everything okay with you? Hi. <laughs> Hope you're doing okay. Nothing happened. Is everything alright? <laughs> Hey, we can operate this. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Oh, hey! I missed out on um, Sizz's Tier 2 8 months. I hope you're still there. Thank you for the 8 months. And the fat Tier 2. That was like 5 minutes ago. Much appreciated. Cheers. Mm, okay. Maybe I should have taken down those instructions. Still can't do anything with this. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Ah, uh, maybe we'll go back and enter that code, but I feel like there's something else we can do here. Let's go back and read the instructions on how to activate the generator, and I'll take those notes down. I didn't think I was going to have to take them down, but maybe you do. Back up we go. Door is locked from the other side. Oh, or did I even check these doors? I'm not sure if I checked all these doors. Hey! Oh wait, no, I have been in here. Okay, never mind. Ah, what a pain in the ass. Oh, what is this? The circuit schematics to display the status of the emergency power supply. Currently it is set to the basic power source of the facility. 
You can switch the supply destination of the emergency power to the third energy generator. Yes. Oh no, it's another one of these. Fuck. Alright. We might be here for a few minutes. That looks like a good option for number one. Just at a first glance. Or maybe not number one, actually, number three. If we're thinking on top. Snake, thank you for gifting a sub to Andre Hunter. Cheers. I solved it. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. In 30 seconds. Top part is right, at least. Interesting. We have that top half. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's not do that then. Any plans to play Dino Crisis 2? Yeah, definitely. Not right after this, but I'm sure I'll play it at some point. Maybe I'm thinking about this last one in the wrong way. Maybe it doesn't have to be at the, at the very top. Get stuck into one frame of mind. This one, I think, has to be at the top. If you look at the very bottom right, I think it's the only one that fits. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, I think we've settled that much at least. That one has to be at the top, and I think it has to be positioned like that. Hmm, okay. I think we're I think we're on to something. Whoa, oh, we were close. We're getting there. Let's put those back. Hey, what's up, Steve-O? Hey. Oh, hold on. Did I miss out on any, um, subs? I don't think I did. Snake, I pr I'm pretty sure I thanked you for that gifted sub. Thank you again, though. Um What was I doing? This one I think wait, which one did I say had to be at the top? This one. I know I, I'm I'm bad with your subs today, Snake, I apologize. <laughs> Not three times for that one sub, though. Wait, no, I think that's four times. I thanked you twice for your initial sub earlier, and that's probably twice for the gifted sub. I'm not sure. Regardless. A puzzle? Dogs fucked? Hey! Puzzles are tricky in this game. Give me a break. And I only have to ask chat once for one puzzle. So shut your ass. Okay. Um I just want to make sure I'm right when it comes to this one at the very end. I'm pretty sure I am. Unless I'm not seeing something. Oh, hold on. Because it could be like a combination of this. Wait, let's see if this does what I think it does. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Yeah, no, that has to be it. That has to be the top one, okay. Not as hard as RE3's puzzles, way harder than RE3's puzzles. This game has significantly harder puzzles than any of the classic Resident Evil games, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Puzzles are unreasonable in this game. I don't think so. I think the only cheap puzzle in this game or one that could be considered cheap is the um, is the Doctor Kirk one. I completely disagree, Me um, Mega. Most of the puzzles have been pretty fun. I think, anyway. And the only puzzle that I would consider cheap is the is the Doctor Kirk one. I de like I definitely prefer the puzzles in this game to the puzzles in classic Resident Evil games. They're more interesting in my opinion. <clears throat> um right. 
let me get back to thinking about this. Right, so we've established that this one has to be at the top. And what else does it fill in? The bar at the top. The other right angle at the bottom. That's it, I think. Yeah. No! <laughs> close! Close. We're very, very close. Just that middle portion. Just the middle, middle left. Actually, I wish I didn't remove them all there. Back. No, I don't want any fucking tips. Shut your ass. Jesus. Okay. First playthrough, pretty much. I played it way back when I was a kid. But I didn't get too far. Oh, wait. Oh! No! Sorry. Don't tell me to come on! Shut up! Jesus. Nico, Nico, you don't have to go crazy with the timeouts. No, you don't need 10 minute timeouts for that shit. Purge at the very most. Um, I should stop reading chat. <laughs> 50% of my attention is on the puzzle. 50% of it is on the chat. Um, right.
shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I see what was going wrong last time. No, 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 no. This one can't be on top, man. What was I thinking? Because the middle is all wrong. I wasn't even looking at the middle. Because that's going to cut off whatever is in... That's right, 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 right. I see, I see, I see. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Now I'm using 75% of my brain power, yeah. Right, so this one can't go on top at all. At all. Okay. I don't think, anyway. Hmm. Now I just need to figure out how we create that bottom right part without this one here. Unless we can, and I'm just being silly again. Hold on. Yeah, no, 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 we can't. I wish we had the chill safe room theme for this one. It was sweet for the last puzzle. We had the beautiful relaxing music. Hmm. I'm not seeing how we create the, um, just, just the bottom right panel. I don't know how we create it without having this on the top. Wait, 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 unless... Oh wait, no, we don't need it on the fucking top to have the bottom right panel there, man. What am I thinking? Yes, of course, of course. Right, right, never mind. I was thinking it, w it would get overlapped, but it doesn't have to get overlapped. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. No, we, we still do the same thing with this one. Cool, 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 cool. Getting close. Oh, fuck. Gargoyles, thank you for the bits.
We could still put this one. It does. This one doesn't have to be first. Hold up. I think that's going to be first. Hey, P. Diesel with the sub. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, the puzzle. Much appreciated. Cheers. Okay. I think that might be a good decision for that one. We keep getting them so close. Right. I know... I'm pretty sure I figured out that... This guy has to be second. Although, no, he could still be first. I'm not quite sure. There are a lot of fucking spaces and squares and combinations of things. And a lot of different things that can happen when they overlap. Okay. What was that? Right, I just need to get that bit at the, the middle left. How do I bring that around? Fuck. Hmm? Oh, it's so painful because we get so close each time. Bow down before me and accept me as your savior. Now, what were we doing before we got sidetracked? <laughs> I thought I had tried that combination before. The one that we just did. Man, that made my brain hurt. There's so many combinations. So many save, so many empty slots. So many different ways they can overlap. Doesn't compute. 
Ah, we're still doing good. I only had to ask the chat once so far, and that was for that stupid ass Doctor Kirk puzzle, where they swear they swear they changed the rules. I'm still not really sure if they did change the rules. I need to go back and compare them to the other ones, but they did they did put a twist on it. So I don't feel bad about asking chat for that one. Gargoyle, thank you for the bits. Cheers. Oh man. I was sure I tried that last solution. That kind of annoyed me. But alright, thank god. We were so close so many times towards the end. We were just missing one little piece and it just didn't um, click. We were 90% done. Right, now what? Right, so we're good. That shit's all ready to go. We read this. Man, that feels good to be done with that. Let's not die. I really don't want to have to do that again. <laughs> Back this way. Again, Diesel, thank you for the, the sub. Thank you for the bits as well, Gargoyle as well. Oh god. With the card you have now, you can access the B3 floor. Let's go. We're back here! Yeah. Well, at least we can get a save. Rex gonna give it to you. He probably will, but not until the end. Okay, back down. B2. Alright, guys, give me... Like, 30 seconds, I'll be right back, and we'll keep going. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Checking on the slaves, man. I actually forgot about the slaves. I should probably check in on them uh, sometime soon. It's been a while. I'm sure, they're all right though. Let's see. They probably ate each other? Maybe. Hopefully not. I really want to play Vagrant Story as well. I never played that. FF Tactics as well. I never played FF Tactics. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Um, right, so I'm not really sure what we do now. I thought maybe after we did that puzzle we can turn all this shit on. Maybe not. Hey, what's up, Dark Arcane? Back down we go. Have you ever played uh, Tactics, Dave? Heard nothing but great things about that game. But I never played it. Come on! Shit! I guess I should take down those notes. The red light is on there, so I can't do anything there. If we go back to the previous area, there's still nothing to do because we need Dr. Kirk's fingerprints. Unless that's Dr. Kirk in the chair by that computer. It could be. But I don't think so, because I think he's still alive. We, we met him earlier. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Okay. Did we get anything else from this area? We were able to use the card on that elevator. We weren't able to do that before. Oh god. Nice. Remember, a special key card is required to operate the generator. She's getting sick of this shit as well. Another fucking key card that we don't have. <laughs> Cars, thank you for the 17 months. I think that's Dr. Kirk. Oh no, she's been shot to death. That's not Dr. Kirk at all. That's the same woman. 1281. Chaos, thank you for the eight months. Is that supposed to be blood? It really doesn't look like blood, does it? It looks like shit. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be blood either, because we've seen lots of blood in this game. But that looks very brown, doesn't it? That's very, very brown. That's not red at all. And you can see the blood on her shirt there. She's been shot to death. She's not breathing.
don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you <laughs> freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Oh! Gale! Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space <laughs> if it ran unchecked this guy. three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand. Oh, this guy. Third energy has the ability to replace a Did you see my puzzle solving skills? A different time. Just try me. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. <laughs> Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. <laughs> Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? <laughs> Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. We need his fingerprints, man. Oh, and we have keycard level A. Nice. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the device. What is with the arms, man? Ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts <laughs> are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. <laughs> it's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Uh, I wasn't really listening. Uh, what will you do? Which strategy will you attempt? Gale's strategy? Head for the B3 level A area? Rick's strategy? Head for the parts storage on B2? Um, I've been going with Rick for the most part. 
We usually have to do puzzles when we when we choose Rick. And we've had some pretty fun times doing those puzzles. Remember the last one we had to do when we chose Rick's plan? And we had like the countdown timer? And I had to take out the pen and a pad? And I had to like quickly jot down all these things because you had to memorize them. And I couldn't memorize them, there was too many things to memorize. So instead I just quickly jotted down the, the solution. That was fun. So part of me wants to choose Rick again because we might get into some ridiculous scenario like that. But I'd also like to choose Gale because I never really choose Gale. Pick Rick. Yeah, I think Gales are usually action oriented. Let's go for Gale this time. Okay, let's do it. Whatever you do, don't drop your guard for a second. I really don't understand this new oof craze. Gale's path seems oof. What does that mean? Can't oof like mean something good or bad? I feel like I see people use that phrase when something is like really good or really bad. Like, oh, man, that was rough or oof, that, that was that was pretty good. What does that what does oof mean? In this context, good, I guess. Oof is never good. I feel like it's usually bad. But I think sometimes it can be good. I don't know. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Anything else to find here? Did I read this? This is all new, I think. Notice, preparing the stabilizer and the initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Core parts, protect part A, protect part B. This means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room, uh, the design room, and the parts storage room. Once you have acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the, in the experiment room. The weightless manipulator must be operated by staff of level A class. I wonder if we have to do that now that we're choosing Gale's plan? Alright, let's go. Don't bother me. Well then. Maybe I shouldn't interrupt here. <laughs> Seems like some serious shit's going down here. Dr. Kirk is standing his ground, though. Well, I'm just gonna... cross your path there. Hold on. You like that? <laughs> I like oh, what are you still doing here? Go get those devices. I can't. Did you find those devices yet? <laughs> this guy is kind of like a budget liquid, even as the hair. Third energy is the final weapon by Edward Kirk. 
If the third energy reaction exceeds the critical point, it evokes the overload phenomenon. When this happens, we can't control it. The huge amount of energy creates chain reactions and begins to disintegrate the surrounding air. The ensuing explosion will vaporize anything in the near vicinity. If we could control the area where the overload occurs, the third energy will literally become the ultimate weapon. The power of the weapon depends on how much energy we can restrain before the explosion occurs, in other words. Um, or in other words, the capability of the stabilizer is the key to everything. I didn't see that full stop there. The, uh, the third energy was supposed uh, to be the project of the development policy. Create the basic power source for the permanently stationed weapon. If we change the policy of the project uh, here and now, this government will be able to obtain the most deadly destructive device in the world. However, our current budget is completely out of the question. You'll find my estimate of the budget in the next chapter. Please review and consider. Human experiments! Doctor's personal belongings. Okay. Right, I forget where we're supposed to be going. B2? B2, I think. Yeah, I think we have to go back. Go! Oh, please, please, please. You fill me with concern sometimes, Droops. Oh, I thought you said dog there for a second. Yeah, I can understand that. I thought you were talking about me. I was like, what? But Droops, though, I feel the same way. Like, why do I fill you with concern? <laughs> do you see my puzzle solving skills? I know my memory might be a bit shit. I, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, let's see. Do I own a dog? I don't. Notice, preparing the stabilizer and the initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. Core parts. Pr uh, protect part A, protect part B. This means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room, the design room, and the parts storage room. Wait, I already read this! Didn't I? I thought I already read this. <laughs> hey, I can push this. That was Gale, man! That was Gale! Oh, Gale, what are you doing? Selling your soul. 
The combination of the beeping sounds at the end of the conversation is... Oh my god! It's Gale's codec! Power of a god, how can I refuse? I mean, I guess he has a point. Hey, Lepe! With the three months, thank you! Cool angles here. Oh! GG parts! By remodeling the cylinder grenade bullets... Wait, by... I, I keep missing the commas and the full stops. They're so easy to miss with the size of the text. Uh, by remodeling the cylinder, grenade bullets can be fired continuously. Oh, nice. Cool. I shouldn't have sided with um Gale. Like I we it's been pretty obvious that Gale has been up to no good for a long time. You know, they've been really shoving that down our throats. Unless it is a red herring. Which it could still be. I felt safer with Rick. It'd be funny if Rick turned out to be the bad guy. All along. Omega Chaos, thank you for the six months. Oh wait, never mind. Omega Chaos, thank you for gifting. A, uh, a sub to Rudy. It's the, uh, it's the total of gifted subs that I was reading there. And thank you for the six gifted subs as well, Omega Chaos. Mm, okay. I am on B2. Shit, I can't even remember what our what we're supposed to do. Planning disc. Oh, did I even look at this afterward? A, a small wiretapping device. It appears to have something recorded on it. We already listened to that. Well, we do have the A card now. I know another place we can go. We haven't opened anything up with the B card either. Oh, I guess the B card was for the elevator. Probably for the elevator. Because I don't remember seeing any other doors with B written on them. You must activate the generator first. Oh. Oh, really? They're not even letting me out there. Interesting. This theme. We still need do Oh! I wonder could I use my thing on Dr. Kirk while he's sitting there? I never even thought of that. 
That would be cool if you can do that while he's alive. Just go up and use the fingerprint device. I'm gonna go back and check. And we'll save. Mm. Actually, no. Let's not do that yet. We'll keep going. You have to activate- Oh, they're not letting me go anywhere, man. Maybe I just have to go back. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. They're letting me back down here, at least. Okay, I guess I have to go back. Right. <sighs> yeah, screwed. I'm just gonna let them kill me. I'm dead anyway. May as well just reload. Oof. Oh, screw it. Kill me again. I don't want to waste my resuscitation on these guys. I'll let them kill me again. Was that a big oof? Or just like a regular sized oof? Small oof. <laughs> Yikes is another uh, word I'm seeing a lot lately on Twitch. Yikes has made a big resurgence. And we get lots of, like, you get different sizes of them as well. You know, I'm seeing a lot of big yikes. Both are horrible. I'm not a big fan, Solid Burb, I must say. I'm not a big fan of either oof or yikes. Not my kind of meme. I'm not a big meme person in general, though, I guess. I'm a bit of an old man when it comes to memes. You know, I see these new phrases being spouted around and I'm like, what is this? Shut your ass. <laughs> That's usually my reaction. Where did this new phrase come from now? What are these kids up to now? With their new trendy meme. <laughs> Alright, let's go back this way. Weird flex? What's a weird flex? Was that was that a weird flex from me just now? I have no idea what that means. But I feel like I've seen that as well. Is a weird flex kind of like a hot take? <laughs> Don't worry, I know what a hot take is. Dab? I don't really know what a dab is, no. <laughs> a subtle brag. That's what a- that's what a- what was it called again? Something flex? A subtle brag. I wasn't bragging there. You thought I was bragging about my- my- my lack of meme usage? I wasn't trying to brag at all. Not at all.
Weird flex. Weird flex, but okay. Is you're proud, but I think you're a weirdo and this is my passive-aggressive takedown. <laughs> what? I don't even know how to break that down. This is a different language you're speaking. The explanation confused me far more. I think I'll just stick to my, uh, my, my shitty interpretations, my incorrect interpretations. <laughs> what? Why flex, man? Why flex? You know, you have to be flexing something. How do you know what I'm- WHAT DO YOU KNOW?! What do you know I'm trying to flex? Go, 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 go. Or what is it that I'm flexing? Um. Okay. So I wonder, can we finally interact with all this shit? Ego? Error. Oh, fuck complete. you. Let's go back down here. Maybe I have to bring back the bridge or something. Maybe that's part of the procedure. I should really read the tutorial again. I don't know, where do you guys learn all these memes? I just see them in Twitch chat and I'm like, huh, okay, guess this is a new thing. Twitch and Twitter? <laughs> All right. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. From less prolific Twitch streamers. I would think the more prolific Twitch streamers, you know, because you're seeing those big chats more often. You're getting educated with those spam chats. You know, they 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 they'd have to be producing all the big memes, all the trendy memes. Okay. Uh let's go back to where we were. Big channels have their own memes. Well, all channels have their own memes. You know, all communities have their own memes. But I feel like in the bigger channels, you'd also see a wider range of memes. You know, memes from the outside world as well. You'd see them more often than in channels like this. Like, you'll still see memes from the outside world in this channel, but you'd see, like, way more of them in a channel with fucking 10,000 viewers or whatever. <laughs> Alien memes. <laughs> All right, back up we go. Keep fucking. Yeah, we need to bring that one back. Doesn't get as much use as it should.
I already did this shit. This area has confused me way more than all the previous areas. Oh, yeah, I'm man, we need to just go and get Kirk's fingerprints. I think that's it. I think we need the initializer as well. Oh, hey, yeah, we picked this up as well. Where did we, where do we need to use this, I wonder? Because didn't I take down another code as well? Yeah, 31415, and I think that's for Kirk's computer. I'm not sure where we use No problem. <laughs> yeah, Dave. That's a good one. This guy gonna follow me in here as well? Alright. Give me your fingerprints. He better give me his fingerprints. He gets the fingerprints from his dick. There is data stored in the fingerprint collecting device. Overwrite the data. Yes. Fingerprint data has been collected. Alright. Sweet. Nice. That's cool. No scene or anything. She just takes them. All right, can I go back out this way? We should have taken this path right from the get-go. This is a big shortcut. Go! Oh, I hate you. I really should have used the lasers on this thing. I don't know why I didn't. We could have avoided damage each time. Whatever. Can't remember if it's this way or the other way. Ugh, please, thank you for the three months. Three one four one five. card certifies the status of Dr. Kirk. 
beautiful. Love this theme. Okay. Yeah, the sound effects are pretty good as well. Save. Project Superintendent. All right, let's go back in here. Still need the planning disc. Uh, I'm trying to remember what other what other doors needed the ID card if any of them go Starting to think Dog might like Kirby games? I've heard good things about the Kirby games. I played one of them as a kid on uh, Game Boy. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, okay. It was Kirby's Dreamland, yeah. Yeah, I remember I liked that game. Man, I'm just running around like a headless chicken in this whole area. You'll have to excuse me. Oh yeah, this is asking for the initializer and the stabilizer. Again, I, I, was, I just forgot what it wanted. I'm kind of tired as well. I'm still, still getting back to my normal uh, sleep schedule. We're pretty much back to normal now. I got a, I got up a little bit too early today, but later than yesterday, which is a good thing. I, I woke up at like four or five a.m. 4 a.m. yesterday. And today I woke up at like 7. Usually I like to wake up a bit later. Because I like to stream in the evening. I like, ideally, I'd like to start at around 5 p.m. So getting up at like 11 a.m. is sort of ideal.
<laughs> I really should hit the gym, low life. Back we go. I have keycard level A, which we can access a lot of shit with this now. But the game isn't letting me back the most areas until we've sorted out this generator shit. We have this researcher memo that we can apparently use on some computer as well. Ah. Uh... Hold on, hold on. I want to check back downstairs again. This area is frustrating me. No response. Right, 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 right. Maybe go back to Dr. Kirk's area where he's hanging out. If I can't do anything there, go back to the previous area, see if I can use card A somewhere else if they let me back to one of the other areas. I can't interact with anything here. We're supposed to be following Gale's orders here. I just can't remember what he wants us to do. Some part of B2 where we need the A card. And we did go to an area there, but there was there was nothing to do there. There was a safe that was open, there was a safe that was locked. We couldn't do anything with the safe that was open. We found a grenade add-on, a grenade launcher add-on. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. Thought I found the devices. Oh, okay, let's go back. Yeah, Nixie, you can repeat what Gail said, sure. Just if you just tell me where to go. If you know where to go, you can tell me. I've been running around like a headless chicken for long enough. We go back here, we find something. I guess I have to use my Kirk card somewhere back here. There are several places where I can use my A card. I just don't think the game lets me back to most of those areas. Like, this is one area we can access, but I'm pretty sure we can't do anything there. I used the card on the initial generator. I did, or I'm supposed to. All I did was create the card. Oh, I did? I used the card? Gale wants you to get a completed version of the initializer and stabilizer. Take the elevator to B3 and head to the crane room. Oh! I also used it on one of the computers? Oh, okay. I don't think I can do anything else there right now, though. Can I? Yeah, I need the initializer and stabilizer now, okay.
gotta go to B3. I think I have to go back to the elevator from the other area. I don't think I can reach the elevator from here. Because I can't use the vents or anything. Yeah, I need to act Oh, fuck you. Yeah, it's weird they're not letting me explore here at all. Where is this? Oh, here. Here we go. No, they, they do let me over here at least. It's not so bad. What? Fuck! Where's B3? How do I get to B3? Ugh. Oh, I was on B3. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I didn't go to that A room. I thought I did, though. Big yikes. Radical oof. Uh, okay. Captain Geech! With the eight months, thank you. Let's check out this place again. Oh! Right, okay. That was a big yikes, if ever I've seen one. Massive oof. This guy's about to stab me in the face. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Okay, never mind. It shows me on the fucking map where to go as well. Why haven't I been looking at the map? I'm sorry, guys. Um. Uh, right. Let's go back through here then. Oh, is that uh, is Rex here? Rex gonna give it to you? He is, yeah. Um now where are we going? Back through the save room. Okay. He got fucked up earlier, Dave. I kind of want to save, even though I've been wasting loads of health items. Fuck it. 
I thought this was no saves run? No. No, not at all. Hey, what's up, Storm? Ah! Oh! Did I save? I did just save right now, didn't I? I'm gonna let them kill me. That was a quadruple oof right there. Oh, and now I have to let them kill me again. I should have just kept going. Big mood! That's another one I've seen, yeah. Big mood. All these new memes, man. Storm, thank you for the 11 months, years. Much appreciated. Ha <laughs> ha Dave. <laughs> yeah. I need to get with all the memes, Storm. I'm not a big memer at all. Right. Map doesn't make sense here with regards. Oh, I guess it does. Get out of my way. Fuck you! Get up! I don't know why I went round that way. Whatever, I'll take the hit. Wow. Get out of my way. Oh, this door. Yes, of course. Third Energy Basic Theory, written by Edward Kirk. Third Energy Basic Concept, the technology to extract energy from the ions in the atmosphere. That is the heart of third energy. If you control the flow of ions by ionizing the constitution of the air, then you can extract the resultant electron movement as energy. The basic concept is simple. The electrons from which energy of movement was extracted combines with ions to once again form the original constitution. However, due to the current level of technology, it is impossible to return it to 100% of the original constitution. The waste, const uh, the waste uh, constituent yields a, a peroxide that is similar to ozone as a byproduct. However, it is not, uh, however, it is not at, a, at a level high enough to threaten the concept of the proposed clean energy source. What about the big dick energy source, though? You ever think about that, Dr. Kirk? I don't know about this. I don't know about this hypothesis, to be honest. Bit of a weird flex, but okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just move on. That was a little bit... A little bit too much. 
Fucking electrons and ozones and ions. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Uh, I'm not buying it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it is a device to maintain the storage conditions of the biological weapons. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Bit of a weird flex, but okay. I think I'll start saying that now, every time I'm slightly confused by something. Or, you know, every time I acknowledge something. Just for, just, just for being there, you know? Ah. <laughs> Initializer, huh? Bit of a weird flex, but alright. <laughs> Everything's gonna be a weird flex from now on, okay? I mean, not everything, but maybe, like, most things. A lot of things. Initializer. Parts used to start the third energy generator. <laughs> Dave, you're on a roll tonight, Dave. Dog's world is quickly becoming a land of bizarre biceps in constant strut. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. What am I what am I doing here? The samples for biological weapons are stored. They are frozen. You got the- oh, I got the stabilizer. What? Oh, it was the initializer I picked up before that. I can get- I can get two of them. Alright. Steve is beyond a meme, he's a state of mind. Steve is a god. I think I decided that the the four the four year sub badge is going to be Steve's face. For two year, we're going to have great ones wisdom. You know, we're going to have multiple slugs. Multiple slugs are going to burst out of the skull, right? Just like Bloodborne. And then for three years, you're going to see the image of Steve's face within the slugs, within like the cosmic glow. Like, it'll be Steve's face, but there'll be, like, an overlay of, of cosmic, starry glowness. <laughs> There's going to be a cosmic glow surrounding his face, and the face won't be fully formed. You know? You'll, you'll, you'll be able to tell that it's Steve just about, but it'll be blurry, because you'll have all that cosmic slug shit still there. And then for four years, it's going to be like a perfect holy image of Steve, of Steve's face. And then maybe after that, Steve's face will start to decay. Just like Father Gascoigne's. Steve's face will start to decay. And then, you know, then it'll turn into a skull and then slugs will crack out of the skull and then something else will be born. We'll, we'll have a new god by that point. But, we, you know, we don't need to worry about this for a long time. But... Once we get to four years, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to find a new god.
But everyone will be bored of Steve by then, so it won't, it won't matter. <laughs> we'll be happy to see the back of Steve by then. <laughs> I have to admit, I just sort of zoned out there. It was really weird. Sorry if you couldn't keep track, Jay. Um, have you played Code Veronica? Oh, I needed to go to uh, to equip my thingamajig again. Okay. Right, so we have the initializer and the stabilizer. We can go back to Gale. Get out of my way! Fuck. Stop! Ah, fuck you! I think I'll just take the resuscitation, whatever. I'll take the resuscitation. Gorilla Sora, thank you for the 17 months. I don't think I saw that. Where am I? Ah, uh, nah. We die, I don't really mind. Hey, what's up for Teppy? This guy gonna spring to life? I really should just trank them. I can't resist trying to run past them. Hey, what's up, devil? Okay, now back to Gale, I guess, before we do anything. Go back out this way. His name is Very Dave. He's been running for days and he forgot to save. His name is Very Dave and his back is up against the wall. I love that new theme. Alright, Gale. So is this all an act? You know, we got the impression through that last recording that Gale is working with uh, Kirk here. Maybe that's why, you know, he's so relaxed here.
Maybe this is another clue. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. I got the devices, didn't I? Stabilizer, initializer. Oh. That's what he asked me for, wasn't it? I guess I need to do something with them now as well. I need one more of each. I don't know what happened to me in this last area, man. I'm not sure if it's the game, my lack of focus, or maybe both. Maybe we need to do something with them first. Hey, here we go. Yeah, I think I remember this thing asking for the stabilizer before. Cool. I operate this now, I wonder. I can. I'm trying to remember where this other thing was. Over here? Hey, it was over here. Nice. Did I finish DMC already? No, 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 not at all. I'll be getting back to it. I've also been playing this game, if you didn't realize. over the last few weeks. Yeah, you missed the first few hours, Dave. I, well, I, ha I had played bits and pieces of it before, like the first couple of hours, but I never got too far. See scenes. Warning. Third energy output is approaching critical point. Cease operation immediately. Date. Third energy output is approaching critical point. Attempt to calm Here goes. Just remember there's no turning back once it overloads. Then we won't look back. Crank that sucker and go out with a boom. What? 
Can't hear you. <laughs> These guys still in the same position. Oh, what the hell? What was the point in saving me? Are you still alive? Just like fucking RE4, man. Remember when Leon throws the thing on Ashley's back near the end of the game? The, tr the, the tracking device? A Shinji Mikami game, man. I guess that was a callback to this game. Eh, uh, right, where are we going? You can use it to find the location of Dr. Kirk. Alright, the overload levels are increasing. Just a little more. Looking good. Gail, what happened to him? I don't know, but Kirk's gone. I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> and casually gets back to typing. Oh, it's the thingamajigs. We should be seeing something there, but we're not seeing it because of the emulator. Let's go. I guess it disappeared. Wait, what about Kirk? What about it? It's a miracle we're still alive at this point. Forget about it. I thought you said we were gonna get him two Forget seconds ago. Mission. You're not here to babysit. Sorry, but I have a conscience. I'm taking you back now. No, you two get going. I'm going after Kirk. What? You're insane! Don't you remember our situation? The third energy can't be controlled anymore. Staying here any longer is suicide! I know. I'm not back in 30 minutes. You two make your escape without me. Hey! Do something! Oh! The fourth wall break! Uh, what will you do? Choose the idea you wish to follow. Gail's idea, put priority on the mission and go after Dr. Kirk. Ignore your duty and go after your comrade. Who's my comrade? Are we supposed to be saving one of our friends here as well? I remember we were trying to save someone earlier. Gail? Gail is going for fucking Kirk. So we're... What? So, so we're, if we choose Rick's idea, we're, we're trying to prevent Gale from going after Kirk. Alright. Uh. Hmm. 
Rick. Kale. Oh! Thanks. That GI Joe deserved it. Come on. Nice. That was a big oof right there, yeah. Radical yikes. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. What is this? We don't have too many health items. Yeah, we have no health items. We can get some fairly easily though from medical boxes if we need them. Take that. <laughs> the soundtrack is way better than RE1 Director's Cut Jewel Shock. But it does have moments which might remind you of it. Gale! Is that Rick in Gale's arms down there? Oh no, it's not. Never mind. I thought Rick was sitting up there. And Gale was like laying down in his lap. I thought we were about to see a twist. Rick is Rick is fine. Rick is up there. Oh, Gale is uh, conscious though. I'm good. Okay, let's get out. We can't. At least not yet. It needs fuel and some repair before it'll move. I'll take care of the fuel, then. It looks like this thing is powered by some type of nuclear energy. Here, put the fuel in this. Okay, right. The tank capacity meter reads empty. You got the energy tank. Where, where am I supposed to find this shit? Alright, back up here. Uh, right, so there's nothing else to do up there but get supplies. Guess I'll save. I hope not, Rudy. Or if we, if we are about to hear it for this whole sequence, I hope we can get the fuel soon. I saw a nuclear symbol on those things. Hold on. Oh. A large tank for storing energy? Come on, man. That's a big bottle of nuclear fuel. Do I do all the endings? Absolutely not.
fucking containers all over the shop. Nothing to use though. Really? That's where I came from right there. Covered materials. Big materials, small materials. Nuclear fuel of all sizes and shapes. Right, let's go back this way. Ah! No, we can't. We have to get it back in that other area, surely. There's nuclear shit all over the place. Wait, 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 wait. Of course, I just used the fucking item on it. I don't know why I didn't try that. I expected it to give me a prompt. For some reason. Back we go, back we go. Alright, where are these things? Give me the fuel! Yes! Thank Christ, okay. Another plug. There isn't enough space. Oh. Okay, hold on. We'll go up to this box. Why do we need to fight it? I don't know. I guess it's there's a chance of it crashing through the ceiling. Can't I drop items? Uh, I'm not sure if I can, but there's no need to anyway. Take the intensifier. Oh wait, I think I swapped it for something there by mistake. Grenade. Okay, nice. We should be good. We have lots of ammo for this thing anyway. I could really use some health items, though. Go, 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 go. And I guess I'll save. We fight him here, okay. It that's the same sound you hear on the title screen. That's cool. What? What? 
What is that? Okay. Let's try that again. I guess I was supposed to turn around and fire. I was spamming buttons because it felt like one of those danger QTE type thingies. Ten grenades. Fucking shoot his ass! Get him! Cutting to cutscenes and we're cutting back to gameplay. Boom! What? Did I need to reload there or something? I should have shot him. All right, let's try it again. Zengaku, thank you for the six months. I thought I reloaded. I don't. I didn't even think she needed to reload. I guess she does. I guess she can have two shots loaded at a time or something, I don't know. Alright, we'll get him this time. Well, maybe not this time, but... I don't think I can skip this scene. How am I supposed to know if I'm supposed to reload or not? I, I think it's... I guess it's three shots. No! Fuck! I'm dead! Shit! I think I, I, I think I had to reload after that. I'm not sure what the deal is with the reloading. Alright, alright, alright. I tried to reload there. My last shot was an attempted reload. I don't know. I don't think I have to reload. I don't think I have to reload. I think... I think I just missed my shot that last time. Alright. Baiting that. No! Fuck! Okay. Right, so she does reload. She does reload. How many shots was that before I had to reload? Three? 
I think that was three shots and then a reload. Okay, 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 okay. I think that was three. Okay. But I wonder, does she fire right after the reload? Anyway, let's see what happens. Here we go, here we go. Three shots, then we'll run, get some space, reload, and then bait the, uh, Intruder the attacks again. Here we go. Right, now we need to reload. Okay, if I shot straight away after that, I would have got him. If I shot straight away after that, I would have got him. I had time to reload and then shoot him straight after. Okay, we'll get him this time. We'll get him this time. That was close. <laughs> Fucking Rex delivered it to me, man. He promised that he was going to give it to me, and then he delivered it straight to my door. So I guess I have to respect him for keeping his word. All right, let's go. Monty, thank you for the seven months. I mean, I don't have to use the grenade launcher all the way, but... All right. Mr. Rex, thank you. Reload, reload straight away, straight away, yes. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you can just stand there. I think there should be audio here. Roar! Roar! Rick, let's get out of here! Go, go! Roar! Whoosh, 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 Rick! Keep going, Rick! Keep going! Oh, Rex, he's swimming after us! Whoosh, 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 whoosh! Rick, Rick, go! Go! I think we lost him, Rick! I think we lost him! He's gone! He's gone! Rick? Gale? We made it. There we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. <clears throat> That was a good game. 
the last area really frustrated me. Um, I'm not sure if it was the level design or just my fucking stupidity. I think it might have been a mix of both. Like, I was fine exploring the first few areas, the first two-thirds of the game. It was probably having to come back to the game as well after, like, two weeks off. Play another shit. But yeah, I really like that game. And I wish they'd bring back some of those mechanics. Like, I really like the idea of having multiple item boxes and needing to spend resources to open item boxes. And, you know, you have, like, medical item boxes, um, w uh, ammo item boxes that are uh, that are already fully stored with shit when you open them, but you can also use them as traditional Resident Evil item boxes and store, and store stuff in them. Um, the mixing mechanics are really cool in this game. I love, like, they're way more... You know, it's far more intricate than in Resident Evil. And I'd really like to see them bring back some of that stuff. And I feel like if you brought back some of these mechanics and really refined them, they could, you know, they could add a lot to that survival horror genre. You know, especially now seeing that Capcom have revived Resident Evil to some degree. You know, I'd really like to see them improve on the formula. And I think they could in a number of ways by adding things and... Um, you know, refining certain things, bringing back some of these ideas from this game. Really cool game. Not perfect, not like it lacks polish in some areas, for sure. The audio balancing is pretty hilarious. Um, I like the puzzles. The puzzles are, are can, can be pretty tricky. But I, uh, I had fun with them. Cool game. You have mail. The final report of Operation Dr. Kirk. Agent name, Regina. Dr. Kirk. Status, unknown. Due to unforeseen elements of the area, we were unable to recapture Dr. Kirk. His survival is unknown. Gale. Status. Alive. Gale did survive, but he is seriously injured and is currently recovering at our military medical facility. Rick. Status. Alive. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from And Ida's I'll country. take Regina, Regina over Jill any day. Alive. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Tom. I like Status. Regina. She has a cool Descent. voice and she's full of sass. At a ridiculous level a sometimes. That was Jill in Resident Evil 1 is an alien. Cooper. She's a Status. stupid alien. Unknown. We lost she doesn't speak like a human being and she has no personality system. at all. And she's absolutely... She's as dumb as a rock. She's so dumb. She's barely a character, but I really do like her character design in RE1 Remake. I'm attracted to her polygons, but I'm also attracted to Regina's polygons. Operation instructions. There's a big oof for you and a radical yikes. It's not character design, it's Julia Voth. Who's Julia Voth? Jill? Alright. You could have done more. I guess that's one of the endings. I don't think that was a bad ending, though. You know, we got out alive with our two... with our two boys. 
Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I'm not sure what we'll do for the next stream. Maybe Resident Evil 2 OG, I'm thinking. Or I might go back to Remake and try a Leon B no save. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, at some point in the near future. Have a few more cracks at that. But yeah, RE2 OG. And I have a few other things in mind as well. But I won't say. Just, just not to get your hopes up. Dino Crisis 2 will definitely happen, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll wrap it up there for now. And we'll do something else tomorrow. I don't want to start anything right now. I would, if we, if we finished that after like two hours, I definitely would have played something else. But I think I'll just host up DRK. I think he's streaming some Peace Walker. So I think I'll host him up and I'll come back. Uh, I'll come back here tomorrow evening and we'll, we'll start up something new. <clears throat> check the new costume. Not right now. I'm sure I'll check it out at some point. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. It was a pleasure, as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. Till next time. Peace.